Hello, Dr. Smith here again. Uh, this video uh, is going to show you how to use the tabletop ultrasonic unit uh, from Cavitron from Dentsply. So if you are in clinics E, F, or G, the built-in ultrasonic in those units is a piezoelectric. So the other ultrasonic video that we have available to you is for how to use the ultrasonic scaler with the magnetostrictive inserts in clinics A, B, C, and D. If you are in clinic E, F, or G, you will probably need to check out this from the dispensary if you want to use a magnetostrictive ultrasonic scaler in your clinic. So when you get it from the dispensary, it will come in a box, a plastic box. Uh, you would check it out and sign it in the book that you have checked out a freestanding ultrasonic scaler, Cavitron. And Cavitron is a brand name. It's made by Dentsply, but people tend to use the word Cavitron to apply to all ultrasonic scalers, even though technically they're really not Cavitrons. But I'll use the word Cavitron and ultrasonic scaler interchangeably. So when you get this, you take it out, the mobile cart should be decontaminated ahead of time, and the mobile cart is located in the back of each clinic. Uh, you will take it out and you will set this up here. So you'll immediately notice that there are several lines. This blue line is the water line. This will supply the water to your ultrasonic scaler and you need to connect it to the left side of the clinician's chair. If you look down here, see the blue here? That is water. Blue is for water. So when to connect it, there's a quick connect here. You use this lever and you have to do it quickly. So you're going to go in, drop this down, push in until it catches across the flat top of the um, where you insert it. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. Um, then we have the power source. So the power source is here. It's loose. You would have to connect this to the back of the unit. Make sure this doesn't fall to the floor. So you would connect this here and then you would undo all of this and try to keep it from falling on the floor. It has to be all decontaminated at the end of the day anyways. And then this will get plugged into the electric source here, the power source here. So then you're connected here. The last thing that may come loose is the rheostat or the foot pedal. The foot pedal should have a headrest cover tied onto it because you're going to be putting your shoe on it and this isn't something that we really decontaminate at the end of the day. So if you have the headrest cover on it from the beginning and then you use it at the end of the day, you just take the headrest cover off and put a clean one on, of course, wearing um, utility gloves. So this will get inserted back here. And then this you can drop to the floor. Since we're using this unit, there's no need to use the rheostat that is on the bracket table, attached to the bracket table and the dental chair. The rheostat for this is the one that I just placed on the floor. So once you have plugged it into the power source here, you come back here and you will see that the power is on because the light comes on on the bottom. You use the rheostat to fill up the handle with water. You can see it's filling up with water. I'm not going to do this more than that. You can see that the bubble is here. Once you purge it for two minutes, you have the bubble up here. You would lubricate the O-rings on the insert and put the insert in. And then you would adjust your water just like uh, the, the bracket table one in clinics A, B, C, and D down here at the bottom, and your power would be adjusted with this blue knob. Uh, with this particular unit, it is recommended from the manufacturer that the power should not really ever be turned past this 12 o'clock position. So you would have low power here going up to moderate, and then this would be the higher power, and it should not really go higher than that. At the end of the day, when you are done, uh, when you're using it, you could replace it here in the holder and it would just hold there on the, the, brack, on the mobile cabinet and then you're done. You would take the insert out, put it into your cassette, clean it with a scrub brush if necessary, uh, dry everything, put the indicator strip inside, close the cassette and then use a cassette wrap to wrap it. Wearing full PPE, including utility gloves, you would decontaminate all of this Disconnect the power source. Disconnect the water. 
and you would clean all the lines. You would clean the plastic box that it came in. Uh, take off the headrest cover from the foot pedal. Uh, put a clean one on it, place everything into the box and return it to the dispensary and sign it back in that you returned it. And that's how we use the table. We set up and prepare the tabletop unit for the magnetostrictive ultrasonic scaler, specifically for clinics E, F, and G. But if for some reason the bracket table one and A, B, C, or D is not working, you can set it up at A, B, C, or D as well. Thank you.